start. You know, in order for a stock to go up another 100%, you need another 8 million in volume. So do you understand for a stock to go up 100%, it needs 8 million in volume. Let's put it this way. For a stock to go up 100%, 100%, you look at the float. There we go. Do I really look at the float? There you go. So let's let's go look at this float. So the float is eight million. Eight million float. Right now, what's the volume? INTS. The volume is eighteen million. So eighteen million. Eighteen million volume now. So okay. So for the stock price right now is ten fifty. Price now ten fifty. 1050 right for a stock to go up another hundred percent for stock to go up look at the float eight million float eight million in volume now price is okay so i'm just gonna give you a nice example why is this a gap up short uh let's see for for a stock you know for a stock to go up another hundred percent it needs another eight million in volume right so right now it's up 162 percent you know let's see if we get the sniping tool I'm gonna explain you in simple terms so right now this is what the mark the, the the stock looks like in order for the stock to be up 261 percent in order for the stock to be up 261 percent from these levels you're gonna have to so from 161 to 261 you see the float 8 million right what is the volume gonna need to be for the stock go from like 10 to 20 from here how much volume this is a this is a trick question this is a good question how much volume does this stock need to have to get from 1050 to 20 it's probably gonna be needing you know 18 million the, the volume now plus another 8 million to go up 260 percent so you're gonna add the float times the volume today you're gonna need to have a 26 million volume do I really that's how much volume you're gonna need to have so in order for a stock to go up a hundred percent you need to have you know a hundred percent of the float as volume for a stock to go up a hundred percent or more you need entire float to uh, show up as volume do you kind of get it get it for a stock to go up a hundred percent or more you need the entire float to show up as volume so right here do I really think from eleven dollars right here do we really think there's going to be eight million of volume coming in over eleven do I really think there's gonna be eight million in volume I mean look at these volume bars they're around 250 K about a million two million three million let's call it three million tops so so far in the past hour we traded three million we need 8 million more for the stock to break 11 and hit like 25 or 26. Do you see? The float is too high for a stock to go up another 100%. Float is too high. Volume is too low. Reason? That's what I think. Float too high. INTS to hit uh, 15. Flow too high, volume too low. Too high, volume too low. That's what I'm seeing in, in this uh, price action. Now, can this, you know, can this rule be, you know, can this rule be, can this rule not work? Sure. Um... For a stock to go up and look at the float. For a stock to go up 100%, you need the entire float to show up as volume. 8 million float, 8 million, so you, INTS to hit 15. So that's kind of like, 
you know, for a stock to go up 100%, you need 100% of the flow to show up as volume. So, so it's very unlikely this thing is going to go up to 15 based on this price action. Just because there's not enough volume. I mean, you have double tops over here. And what? And, and it's probably going to roll over. That's kind of like what I think is going to happen. PRSO. This is a this is a different difficult concept to understand. You know, can this stock went to twenty dollars if it was like a micro float? Yes, the stock could have went to twenty dollars if it was a micro float. What is the float? There it is. There we go. It's going.